This is an AMI This Week Shortcut. I'm Grant Hardy for Accessible Media. When Surya Gavander makes eggs in the morning, she never worries about being in short supply. We had long wanted to um, get some chickens, and then I think we just heard through the grapevine that you could do it. And so we, we were pretty quick after the, the laws were passed to get going on it. The Vancouver Chickens Bylaw allowed Surya and her family to build a chicken coop in the backyard of their home. So just on our left here. Okay. And so Jaya. Surya and her children, Jaya and Salila, took me for a tour of their chicken coop. The whole enclosure is about the size of a, of a smallish room. And then the coop itself is sort of one fully enclosed covered area and then one with open sides, okay. mesh sides, I should say, and then with a roof. Well, I think we're going to let Grant get the eggs. So Once we were inside the coop, like the kids, I was excited to find some eggs. Oh, wow. He's finding so eggs. There, there are three eggs right uh, three. in the palm of my hand. So you just put your hand out there. Okay, holding my hand. And then I got to pet a chicken. Oh, <laughs> very cute. Do you, like, do you name the chickens or do you not? You do. This is, uh, I think it's Patty. Patty was super soft to the touch, but then I got to try and hold her. Just like that. Oh. Just, oh, oh, there you are. And if you, whoop, oh, I say that. Now she gets oh, all crazy. Nice. <laughs> Oh really my feel goodness, those wings right. opening Just up. a minute. Here we go. Okay, so first attempt didn't go so well, but luckily I got to try again with the chicken named Cat. Okay, so what you want to do is hold her wings down. This one's a bigger one. Okay. So I'm going to put her on your arm. Okay. And then press her against your chest. Perfect. Oh, there you go. Very cute. There you go. And quite heavy, actually. Yeah, she's a big one. Yeah. This one's a big one. Though their chickens are thriving, having chickens in the urban jungle is not without its perils, especially at night. Basically, around when dusk falls, I go out and make sure that they're latched in, because that's when coyotes or raccoons might come. Um, and it depends on which city you're in, I'm sure, about what, what kinds of hazards there are. The backyard chickens bylaws have been seen as a success. And City of Vancouver social planner, James O'Neill, tells us the idea is catching on. Other cities across North America are um, definitely considering having uh, chickens in, in, their, in their backyards and, and other places in the city. And in Vancouver, particularly, um, the number is continuing to grow. Places that chickens are the most is within families, so young kids. And young kids are able to really um, interact with the chickens. They think that they're pets, and that they are their pets. They are their part of their family, and they name them. They get to know them. They see them grow up. And then they're also to, able to get the, the eggs from the chickens as well. I think that's really important. Come on, Lovie. I know you're That's certainly the case for Surya's family. And Surya says that there are many benefits. Well, it's given us food, for sure. Uh, I would say definitely connecting us with our neighbours, because we've had a lot more conversations around it, um, and friends, and uh, making it just a conversation piece around where our food comes from. Our kids often ask, when we serve food, where did this come from? Um, and they expect now that it's produced somewhere around here, and I love that they have that relationship with food. In Vancouver, I'm Grant Hardy for Accessible Media.